In the north of Denmark, far from the bustle of the big cities, is Hobro. Only 12,000 people call it home, and in these parts, life is fairly laid back. The local football club was founded a little over a century ago, and for almost its entire history, never troubled the big boys. However, last year, they shocked everyone and reached the top flight. While most teams in the Danish Superliga have a professional setup to help them, Hobro is proof that success can exist in more relaxed surroundings. Jonas Dahl Andersen, who coaches the team and teaches at a sports college, took over the reins at the start of 2013. Some of us spent many years waiting to play football at a high level. But it's a difficult thing to do. So we had to get jobs and scale back our ambitions. But when we got promoted, a number of us were able to live the dream. The dream we had from the day we started playing when we were kids. Most of Hobro's players are either still studying or in part-time work. 31-year-old central defender and captain Mads Justesson, who's been at the club since 2004, is a high school teacher and farmer. I usually wake up around six in the morning when my young son wakes. Then, if we can, we eat breakfast together. After that, I feed the calves and then drive the children to the daycare centre. Because I work fewer hours now, I take a couple of them for myself when I just relax before I go to teach, which is usually around 10 o'clock. I teach for a couple of hours before heading to the training session at 3, the time we train every day. I'm home by 6, so I have a couple of hours with the children before they go to bed. Last season, we trained at 4.30 and I'd get home when the children were already asleep. So compared to last season, it's much better now. Our family life works better since we were promoted to the Superliga. Some of them have physically demanding jobs, and sometimes you can tell that they're very tired and worn out. From time to time, they only do half a training session, and sometimes they're even allowed to skip it altogether and just jog or relax with their families. It's something we simply have to adapt to as a semi-professional team. The biggest challenge is to maintain the focus and maintain the strength to keep coming to the training sessions every single day. They have to stay fresh and adapt to professional life in the Danish Superliga. Hobro's promotion to the top flight was certainly a major achievement, but few pundits gave them much of a chance. Their debut Superliga season would, many said, inevitably end in relegation. In fact, some predicted they'd be lucky to get more than 10 points in total. But Hobro have already proved the doubters wrong. They're in the top half of the table, with the likes of Bromby and OB overcome, and FC Copenhagen's Lions suffering a 3-0 hiding in their own den. No one gave us a chance at all. We were called the worst team ever, and a lot of experts claimed in advance that we'd have no chance. It just gave us extra motivation. We said, now we just have to show the experts are wrong. I have to be careful what I say, but I think we're doing a good job so far and showing we do have something to offer the Super League. Yes, we could still end up bottom of the league because there are many games still to go. But we've proved that we can play in this league and we have quality in our squad. That means we can win games. We have players who'd walk through fire and water for each other, and they all like hanging out with each other. It's very important to them that they look out for one another, and there's a great team spirit. It's an enormous strength of our team. A successful season for us would be to finish in the top 10 so we can play in the Superliga again. This would give us time to stabilize ourselves in the top flight of Danish football and will also give us the opportunity to create something wonderful here in Hobro. The team remain largely semi-professional, but they did make a few decent acquisitions following their promotion. 
They signed young striker Emil Bergrin and further strengthened the squad with five more players, including Zimbabwean international Quincy Antipas from Bombay. The ultimate underdog story has transfixed the country. Hobro may be a long way from actually winning the league, but they've won the hearts of many Danish fans. In a sport where money rules, Hobro's success is a welcome reminder that spirit and talent can't always simply be bought.